Zimbabwe's ruling ZANU-PF party says it's decided to launch impeachment proceedings against Robert Mugabe on Tuesday. The party has been meeting for a second day to discuss what to do with a man who's been their undisputed leader for 37 years. On Sunday, they dismissed him as head of the party, but when he appeared on TV that evening, he refused to resign. A senior party official, Paul Manguana, has been speaking to reporters about what will happen next. This should take a maximum of uh, two days. I'm, we are expecting the motion to be moved tomorrow, the committee to be set up tomorrow, and hopefully by Wednesday, because the charges are so clear, we expect that by Wednesday we should be able to vote in Parliament. He could be gone that soon. What are yes. the charges? What are the charges? The main charge is that um, he has allow, allowed his wife to usurp constitutional power when she has no, no right to run government. But she's insulting civil servants, the vice president, at public rallies. They are denigrating the army, and those are the charges. One of the major charges is that he has refused to implement the constitution of Zimbabwe, particularly um, we had elections for the provincial councils, but up to now they have not been put into office. Thirdly, he is of advanced age that uh, he no longer has the physical capacity to run government. Were you shocked by last night that he didn't resign? Um, well, he is a stubborn man. He can, he, he can hear the voices of the people, but he's refusing to listen. Paul Maguana there in Harare.